you. Yes, you. This is probably going to be a very long intro. So if you hate long intros, then just go ahead and uh, just, just skip ahead until we get to the actual reaction video. But um, anyway, now that 90% uh, of the population is gone, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. I'm starting a new s little mini series here on the channel, and we're going to call it Fanfic Fridays. Even though that probably none of these videos will ever be uploaded on a Friday, but um. <clears throat> Basically, I'm going to take a random fanfic reading, and I'm going to react to it. This time, I've chosen... For the first one, I've chosen a lonely blue flower. I don't know who written it yet. I will say who, who wrote it later when we actually start the video. But this is... This is the reading is done by a scribbler, which we've seen... A number of content on this channel, you know, Friendship is Tragic, both one and two, and some fanfic readings. One, one actually reacted to an audio audio drama on, that was uploaded to her channel. It was, um, it was Starlight's new drinking buddy, but, uh, a little bit of uh, Mr. MLP lore for you guys. I never actually got to upload that video. I just never did, I, and it's gone forever. You know, I had this whole running joke of Ben in, in that in that reaction video. It's, it's actually very enjoyable. I really, I really did enjoy that reaction video. This is a shame it never got uploaded. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, I wanted to pick a short one for this first episode of the mini series, but the the title of a lonely blue flower it just it got me very intrigued and. It looks to be more like a serious kind of just be like, let's just impact you here and get you just oomph in it. Later down the line, I will be doing fanfic readings from other channels, like Not Lost Narrator, because I've already seen all the fanfic readings on her channel. Maybe Emo Back, if I haven't seen all their fanfic readings. Yudi, um... Some of the other creators, you, 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 you know, you know the fanfic creators, you know. I'm pretty sure me and you, we know what's coming up, you know, with with, with the scribbler intro. We, we know what's coming up. Hey, you. Yes, yes you. you. Watching this video. <laughs> Do you, you want, want to own a piece of scribbler? scribbler? Well, you want another lack of hair or dog or, or, or flesh or anything else that will get you in trouble with the law? Well, now now's you can. your T-shirts, hoodies, tote bags, and mugs featuring Obab Scribbler at, at her Teespring, Teespring store. store. You know you want to. I shall now stop ah. talking in third person and send you onto the video. Be lovely to each, to each other, other and enjoy, enjoy the, show. the show. I missed that intro, man. It's been it's been a little bit. And to get the pun. Oh man. Good feels, man. I used to watch, like, or not watch, but listen to a lot of fanfic Red. readings. Like, I scribble. About a year ago, maybe over a year ago. But I used to listen to a lot of these things. I was, I was going, I was zooming. I was going through a lot of them. But I, I eventually stopped for that because, you know, <laughs> I have other things. Lonely Blue Flower. From, no. Written by Love Dusk Spark. Lilium. The frustrated, pale blue unicorn oh tossed the crumpled up letter in the trash. Why is this so difficult? She slammed her head on the desk with a resounding thud and Love a pained story? groan. Uh, why can't I just kick my problem away? Her eyes locked kick. onto the photos hanging on the wall above her desk. Of her friends in the military academy. Of her home in Canterlot. Of all the silly adventures she went on back home, and the, the stallion she story? secretly longed for. Love story. She was shining. Sad. Her cheeks turned quite Guidance. red at the thoughts racing through her mind, which was swiftly followed by another head slam on the desk. Ow! She was going to break something in her brain at this rate. You've got to break open she'd her taken skull. enough blows to the head where it probably wouldn't do too much damage. That hit must hmm. have jogged something in her memory. Wait, wasn't there something I was supposed to do today? You forgot Sunlight your laundry. Outside her door interrupted her thoughts. It would have to wait. In a sack! 
but she opens the door. The pony is just like, it seems you forgot to, to do your laundry. We, we, we actually were sent here to remind you to do your laundry. She levitated the trash bin full of discarded letters and hid them under Ladders. her desk. She was hoping the chair and the shadow cast by the desk would be enough camouflage. Otherwise, what? she probably would have incinerated the contents, but she really didn't have the time. Plus, the last time she did that, her superiors yelled at her uh, and threatened a court martial, so that was out. Court martial? The door opened to reveal a grey Pegasus mare with a big grin on her face. But her smile quickly Who faded when she saw Lilium standing idly in the middle of the room. What are you doing here? Well, that was a stupid question. Derpy. Grace, it's my room. I live Grace, here. I what mean, are you Grace. doing here? Her eye twitched, and then she put on a forced smile. Oh, nothing. I just thought I'd drop in to see how my fellow soldier and longtime best friend was doing. Just soldier. enjoying herself in here. She just let herself in, walking right up by Linium and examining the contents of the room. Linium raised an eyebrow suspiciously. Yeah? She knew yeah. that sarcastic tone Grace was using, but for the life of her, Linium couldn't really understand why Grace was beating around the bush. Just tell me already! As Grace paced around the room, she couldn't help but stare at the photos on the wall. Oh, it's photos. just, I thought that after you aced your arcane combat tests, you promised yourself you would do... something. Something? She knew exactly I what Grace something. was referring to. And I she love knew something. she was in for a lecture. Something important to you. Something that's been bugging you for ages. Okay, stop. I get it. Bug. Bug. <laughs> Bug. Nobody's gonna understand this reference, but Bug. She gradually one, brought the trash bin out from under her desk. I promised myself that if I passed my tests, then I would confess to Shining Armor. I know that. Dude, Shining Armor's going after Kate. I'm sorry. failed attempts at a love letter with embarrassment. If it were anyone other than Grace looking into her failed attempts at writing down her true feelings, then she wouldn't be held responsible for her actions. Plus, they'd never find the body. If you know, then just Bye. get it over with. Get out there and tell him. It's not that simple. Ask no him the prom. This, girly emotions and stuff. I'm more used to punching out my problems. There was one other reason why she didn't <coughs> <didn't coughs> <coughs> <coughs> get out of your pants. Shining pain. already. But she wasn't going to tell Grace that. Look, I just don't want to be rejected and then end up losing someone so important to me. It was Shining half is a your lie. friend? While she was indeed afraid of being rejected. Lilium was not the type to let her fear alone stop her from doing something. Besides, we're both in the equestrian military. Our jobs don't exactly give a lot of time for romance and frilly frou frou girly stuff like that. And True. I'm not exactly the best mare for him and- Stop. Uh, you just keep coming up with an excuse stop. after excuse about why you can't. And you know what? I agree with you. You're kind of pathetic, Lilium. Whoa! To Lilium. Damn! Damn! Just gonna hit my girl, Lilium, like that, just be like, yeah, yeah, you're pretty pathetic. What, like, really pathetic? It's mine. You're not girly. You're not particularly cute. You're not a very good wow. soldier. You're blunt, mean, violent, vulgar. Okay, I get oh it. Oh my! Chill, chill. C H I L L. My. God, I suck. Lilium's self-esteem couldn't take another hit from Grace's barrage of insults. <laughs> Dude, I, I felt what that, do man. I have going for me? But despite all that, you're loyal to a fault. <laughs> all you that. You try your best to help your friends. You're honest and don't have a deceptive bone in your body. You're selfless and while you're not fashion model cute, you do have your own charm. You're a lot of things, Lilium. But one cool. thing you want is a bad pony. Grace explained cool. while examining the crumpled I'm up love letters. I'm a functioning pony. Uh, thanks? Lilium didn't exactly know how to feel about the backhanded compliments. What are you doing? She asked as Grace picked through the trash bin filled with nothing but crumpled up love letters that she hated. But you really suck at writing, you know that? And there's the insults again. 
It was kind of starting to piss her off. Hey, don't yes, I insult get it. the writing. She stamped her hoofs down in indignation. I suck at romance. What do you want from me? Grace turned her don't head worry, and looked directly into romance. Lillian's bright purple eyes. The first thing you're going to do is stop obsessing over what you're going to say. Then you're going to march down to Shining Emma's room and just tell him how you feel. Just, just Why let didn't it flow. Grace just, just get that it wasn't that everything. easy for Lillian? Just but vomit. It's not that easy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. Vomit. Right now, you're your own worst enemy. You're making too big of a deal out of it. Just get it over with. And I know you're going to say, what if he rejects me? That's always a chance with confessions. But I believe it's better if you know for certain, rather than spend years wondering, what if? What could have been? Lillian was speechless. She levitated the picture. I mean, back in second grade and fourth grade, back when I had my first ever crushes, my first ever like two crushes, I'm honestly so glad I never asked them out and told, uh, well, I once, like, they pretty much knew how I feel because I was very stupid and obvious, but like, I'm glad I never asked them out or anything and be like, hey, you, you, you wanna, you wanna date, you know? I'm so glad I never did that, cause that would be awkward as freak, cause there is literally zero chance. I'm not getting zero chance, man. And, and you could be like, ah, don't sell yourself short, and you know, there's probably like a little bit of a chance, no. 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 You're just wrong. No, there is there is no chance. Her <laughs> shining armor from her wall of photos over to her side. What would you do? Of course, she knew the answer to that. She sighed. <clears throat> You're right. She quietly acknowledged. I'm not gonna run from this. I promised myself, and I do want to know. I want to know so badly that it's eating away at me. And if I don't get my answer, then I might just explode. Dear Celestia, what am I doing here? Five seconds later. And with that, <laughs> Lithium raced out of her room with the cry of, Go get him, girl! On her tail. Yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> Chapter 2 Shining armor, I want to see you. I want to tell you. A small filly bit back her tears. It was Hearts and Hooves Day, and while everyone in her class was getting presents and cards and sweets, she had received something. A surprise for someone like her, who didn't really have any real friends. She eagerly opened the contents, but it contained something that no filly should receive. Someone had carefully decorated a pretty little card for her. It put card. a smile on her face to know that someone actually cared about her. However, card. when she opened it, all she found was a horrible, cruel joke that still hurt her to remember. She'd excused card. herself and went to card. cry under the stairs where no one could see her. Aww. I don't think you can ever understand just how much you mean to me. As the small filly fought back the urge to cry out right there, a colt's voice spoke up. Hey, Shining? what are you doing down here? That's gotta be Shining. He eyed the white-coated unicorn and glared yep. at him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. your business. She turned away from him. All right, she Shining, time to rescue. She something. pushed her tail Here. in a shooing motion. Just leave me alone, all right? She didn't want to see anyone right now. She just wanted to kick someone real hard in the face. And if this stupid cult didn't leave her alone right now, then she wouldn't be held responsible for. Her. A small little box was dropped next to her. It was wrapped in a nice little red bow. Want a share? The colt asked while levitating a saddlebag of sweets. What's in the box? Oh. Sweets? Cupcakes? She whispered, while turning oh, no, her head away cupcakes. from him. Please. She really didn't want him to see the deep red blush on her face, or hear how loud her heart was thumping. Could he even hear that? I think when you said that to me, I was already in love with you. But maybe I didn't realize it at the time, or maybe my love is something that just grew over time? Either way. Love is a fickle mystery. Memories of her life, of times when Shining mystery, was sad, understand. and she was there to comfort him. When they'd hang out at each other's houses, when they'd study for big tests, when they got their cutie marks. They were practically a couple already, but Lilium knew of her, Cadence. Cadence. She saw the way Shining looked at her, 
and a wooden enemy. Hardwood, just a little bit knowing that Shining would never look at Lillian that way. <laughs> the antagonist. No one started to resent her. <laughs> it was during her adolescent years, with a group of friends, they all went to an amusement the park Alicorn. in Philadelphia. And it was there that Lillian and Cadence had been paired together on the Ferris wheel. They oh, reached the no. very top, but it stalled. Can I ask you something? Cadence asked shyly. Pushes her Shoot. off. It's not like we have anything better to do. Honestly, Lillian would rather have kept her interactions with Cadence to minimum. But in this case, it was unavoidable. She may Indeed. as well humor her. It's about shining armor. Do you think he likes me? Mm. Lillian knew exactly mm. what she was asking. Mm. But she chose to feign innocence. That is pain, bro. That is pain. Well, of course he likes you. He likes everyone. She'd never know shining armor to be a pony to hate others, that's for sure. No, me, I mean, honestly. do you think he likes me? Oh, well, I could have said anything, but I instead oh. chose to be evasive. Maybe I should have lied to her. No, no, I couldn't do that. I'm a lot of things, but a liar I am not. And so we talked. We talked I could lie at any time. Like right now. I could I could be lying at any time. I could be lying about how I could lie at any time during this video. You'll never know. <laughs> Talked about shining armor a lot. Maybe I should have been more forward about how I felt about him. Maybe. Would it have mattered? I don't know. There was a reason I never told Shining Armor how much I loved him. It was, was some time after they both got accepted into Equestrian Military Academy. What should have been a day for celebration and parties was instead the day when he told Lillian that he was in love. But it wasn't uh, with her. It was with Cadence. Uh, Years later, and the scar in her heart still hurt more than she realized. Uh, Things had never truly been the same for them. Time that he'd have normally spent with Lillian were instead spent with Cadence. Listen, listen. I propose a very easy solution here. You walk into the kitchen, you open up the knife drawer, and you pull out your shotgun. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She'd convince herself that she'd eventually get over him, that it was pointless to hope for anything more. And she even tried to push the two ponies into being a real couple, as opposed to the ponies who just made googly eyes at each other so she would stop feeling that hole in her heart whenever she saw him. Those were the times that hurt her the worst, when she had to force a smile. She stood in front of Shining Armor's door, but she didn't try to open it just yet. She took a deep breath, steadying her nerves. She pressed her hoof to the door, but she wouldn't move. The fear was hmm. taking hold of her motor skills. She Shining nearly turned around and walked open her back, door. but that's when Grace's words rang in her ear. She bit her lip. Her internal battle was just getting worse and worse. Stay or go, stay or go, stay or go. Should I stay or should Shining I go? Shining Armor's voice caught her off guard. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. What's up? Lillian so, leaned man, against how's the wall, feigning coolness. Oh, you know, I just like hanging around places like this. In front of my room? <laughs> hey, this place is a really great view. It was an empty hallway with maybe one potted plant in the corner. Someone should probably water that thing. It's starting to wilt. Uh-huh. Shining rolled his mm -hmm. eyes, mm -hmm. yeah. and then a smile crossed his face. Well, while you're here, come on in. There's something I want to show you. It'd be really great if I can get your opinion on it. Oh, oh. no. Well, this is a oh, surprise. She'd no. expect it to have to coax him out of the room. Oh, but this no. works too. This maybe is this whole confession pain. thing would be easier than she thought. This is gonna be Or maybe pain. Shining was actually going to confess to her. This is the going to be so painful. The thought of it sent her heart painful. to flutter up for about eight seconds before it dropped back to normal levels. Mm. Wait, wait, no. That can't be it. Probably just needs my opinion on a flower or something. My parents did run a flower shop back in Canterlot, after all. You mind closing the door? Shining asked while rummaging around the saddlebag next to his bed. Uh, sure. She telekinetically closed the door behind her, then resumed her pacing 
her mind abuzz about what Shining Armor wanted to talk to her about. It's gonna be a Mount Kanan. She noticed Shining's wall of photos above his desk, just like hers. <sighs> it brought a kind of warmth to her heart and a uh... smile to her face as she examined the pictures, remembering when they were taken, and then her but... eyes locked on the picture of them as fools, hugging. With Lilium acting like she hated the hug, but she'd secretly <laughs> hoped that hug would last forever. <laughs> she saw how well cared for the picture was, and that just gave her the kick in the flank she needed. Okay, I'm gonna do it before I lose my nerve. She wheeled just, around. Uh, oh. He was already standing there, holding the letter in his telekinetic grip with a very elegant stationery and a few words she could read. Oh, Celestia, that's a love letter. Her heart God. fluttered, Shining was presenting it to her? Shining, it's gonna I... be for Cadence. She could feel another smile it's coming on. Be for I Cadence. Love you, Shining. Just say it. Just say it. I'm hoping I can get your opinion on this letter to Cadence. Yep. And suddenly, all that confidence just drained away <sighs> in eight seconds flat. Just, just Cadence. leave the scene. Run. Bun. She felt her hooves shaking and a hollow pit forming in her chest. Don't, Don't cry. cry. Don't, Don't you dare, dare cry. She cleared her throat. <clears> throat> I'm not gonna lie, in this situation, <laughs> I might have cried. <laughs> I might have actually cried. Yeah, of course, I can, but, um, can you, like, I don't know, step out for a second? It's, um, really uncool to read these girly things in front of ponies. Shining's eyes lit up. Oh, I got an idea. I'll stand outside my door. And then you read the letter as if you're saying it to me. That way I can kind of understand how it might sound to someone. Bro. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get... This is gonna get emotional, ain't it? <laughs> I pr prompts... Prompts to you does spark for uh, making the, writing this situation, you know, making this situation possible in the story because all oh, it's gonna get emotional. <laughs> there was no way she could refuse. Shining had already left the room. Lilium sighed as she stared at the contents. Her heart was breaking. So much. It hurt a thousand times worse than that time Shining Armor had told her how he felt about Cadence. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have stepped, stepped outside, outside today. She sat really at have. the door as she lifted the letter to eye level. Might as well get this over with. Yeah. Dear Cadence, do you remember when we first met? No. It was in the spring. Mom and Dad had told me that Twilight needed a full sitter. Naturally, I volunteered, but they told me that... Fact check, fact check. When did... <laughs> when did Shining... Armor <laughs> Cadence meet in the comments. Oh my god. No, don't tell me. I know it was issues 11 and 12. I've read the comics, but. <sighs> we're just gonna act like it's spring. We're just, we're just gonna ignore that I searched up anything. Also, um. The song Nay Anything, I love that song, that song is a bop. But they needed someone who wasn't so busy with extracurriculars, and that's when they introduced you to me. A friend of the family referred you to us, and they'd been talking with you for several days without my knowledge. Do you remember how annoyed I looked? It was like my family thought I wasn't mature enough to watch Twilight. I don't re- Hold on a minute. I have a screenshot from the Nay Anything comic. Hold on, let, let me pull it up. This right here, I love this screenshot so much. Hello! Hello, welcome back! Don't really blame them. We did get into plenty of trouble before we met you. During the winter was when Lillian first met Twilight Sparkle. Shining had brought her in to warm up from the sudden snowstorm. It was the when winter. Shining was making hot cocoa that Lillian first locked eyes with Twilight Sparkle. Hush, and Twilight winter. just went back to burying her face in the very complicated book she was reading. <laughs> it wasn't the most Twilight. memorable introduction, but Lilium had tried to talk about the book with Twilight, only to have the contents just fly over her head. Every Quantum school day, physics. I'd come home two hours late and you'd be there with Twilight. 
I was shocked, to say the least. Twilight's never been a very social filly. So to see her laughing so happily with someone who wasn't me, well, that just put a smile on my face. It was nice to know that Twilight had a friend outside me and our parents. Still can't believe she caught the eye of Princess Celestia. Know, Thinking right? at it now, I think it was those moments we spent together just <coughs> hanging out with Twilight <coughs> when I started to notice you. Not just as a friend and Twilight's full sitter, but as a mare who I really cared for more than anyone. Those words cut into her like a knife, but she kept reading. For years I did nothing about these feelings. I just watched you from afar, tried to be a friend to you, and enjoyed uh, this little game of house that the three of us shared. Uh, it wasn't until I started talking about these feelings to my best friend Lillian uh, that my little crush started to turn into something more. Lillian always listened to me. She was one of the few ponies I could really talk to. I couldn't talk to any of the guys, they'd call me a wuss. I couldn't tell Twilight, it was all big pony stuff. Honestly, I don't think I could have come to this conclusion without Lillian's support. Tears were shining to our life. Pain! Oh! Oh, the pain! The pain! Can you feel the pain emanating from my spirit? Well up. Stop it. Damn it, don't you dare cry. I'm I would have cried. <laughs> I would have cried. I love the cadence. I may not be the strongest pony, the smartest, the most handsome, but my feelings for you will never change. Stop it. And even if you don't feel the same way about me, then that's fine. I just wanted you to know how I really felt. It's been eating away at me for years, and I just wanted you to know the truth. Now that it's out in the open, I feel like a great weight has lifted off my shoulders. So if you want to give us a chance, then please let me know. Because I don't want to just tell you in a letter. I want to tell you just how much I love you and how much you mean to me, face to face. Love, Shining Armor. She was bum, silent for a few minutes, bum, her face buckets. buried in her forelegs muttering little muffled cries and fighting back the tears with every fiber of her being. I am not going to cry. I will not cry. She needed to be strong. She refused to let Shining see her in this pathetic state. Lilium, you went quiet at the end. It's bad, isn't it? No. That sappy stuff. It's just... No. No. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's perfect as it is. Lillian right. wasn't the best judge of love letters, having spent many nights trying to come up with the best one she could, but she could just feel the overwhelming love from each word that Shining had for Cadence. But that love was a double-edged sword for Lillian, because each word was like a dagger in her heart. Don't change it. Just don't I know. Send it. I actually she wanted don't know. this to be over with as soon as possible, and she definitely didn't want to read another love letter meant for someone who wasn't her. Really? And shiny armor has like 15 His excitement of them. was perfect opposite to how she felt. Then can you come with me to the mail room? I think I'll lose my nerve if I go alone. She wiped uh, the- I, 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 I'm about to have some choice words, man. <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, bro. The tears forming at the edge of her eyes. I don't want to go course. to the mail room. <laughs> she needed to take a page out of Grace's book and hide her emotions behind a mask. What's a best friend for? Best friend. Please don't say best friend. Please, please don't. But, but. <laughs> Chapter three. Downfall. Lilium had chosen to take the scenic route to the mail room. Shining didn't seem to mind. Maybe she was hoping that he'd lose his nerve, and then she'd be able to confess her feelings to him, or maybe she was just prolonging the inevitable? She wasn't entirely sure. She tried to enjoy the conversation, but it was different now. It didn't feel the same. Already, their friendship was different. So, you really love Cadence? Yeah, 
he said without delay. I think oh, without delay. This is real. Damn. I mean, it has to be real, right? She didn't want Damn. to answer that, but she had to. Yeah, it, it has to be. Nah. She faked enthusiasm. She prayed to Celestia that this was all just actor. one terrible nightmare and that she'd wake up from any moment now. You know, I actor. really have to thank you for this. Please don't. Yeah, I please, mean, please if don't. you weren't around to talk to and encourage me, then Sh I don't know Shining. if I ever would have worked up the courage. Sh Heck, Shining. I don't Shining. even know if Cadence really feels the same way about me. Sh but Shining. Shining. I want to try. I want to try to make it work. And I want to be the kind of stallion worthy for a princess. His words held- Shining, Shining, I know you don't know what's going on. I feel for you, man, but damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, Shining. If you only knew, man. If you only knew. No deceit and no doubts. He really believed that he could make it work with Cadence. And if she doesn't feel the same way, well... Uh, at, at least I'll know that I gave it my best shot. Better than not okay. knowing, right? She couldn't take it anymore. She had to say it. Right here, right now. Otherwise, she'd just break down into a pathetic little sad sack right there and then. Pathetic. Shining, That's a callback. Listen, there's something I... Shiny. Thanks, Celestia. Look, I need your help. A worried stallion came barreling down the hallway. Bro, why? Just a why? Bit. No, it can't wait. You're the only one who can help me with this. Come on, bro. I need you. I'm pulling out the friend card. It's that serious. Stallion pulled you, you, out what looked like a laminated index card with the words, Friendship card. Good for one free favor. As long as it's <laughs> not something illegal. Written in bold, bright red colors. Whoa. Who is really? this guy? Shining this looked guy? at Lillian, then back to the stallion, and then to Lillian again. He passed his saddlebag over to Lillian. Can you go no. ahead and deliver this to the mailroom? I think this is going to take a while, and I might lose my nerve. So, if you can just give it to the mailroom ponies, it'll be a huge favor to me. Yeah. I'll meet up with you later, and we'll get yeah. something to you, whatever. Yeah, what? That's, that's, that's Shining, fine. wait, I... It was that, too that's, late. That's fine, that's great. That's, that's perfect. Damn it! Yeah. She bucked the nearby wall in frustration. Damn. Hard. She had just you gone up the curve. She was so close. Just a few more seconds and she would have... Ow! Oh. Her second kick broke a hole in the wall. She eyed the saddleback with nothing feel but contempt. that emotion. If only this letter didn't exist. And then she started <gasps> to think. You know. No, I no, no, no. The letter. Yeah, no. She could, couldn't she? No, no. All she had to do was take the letter and burn it. Shannon no, would no, never no, question no. her. Or better yet, no. change the address no. so that it gets sent somewhere else in case the mail ponies say they never- Don't you dare. Listen, it's bad enough destroying the letter in some way. But imagine if she still delivers it, but changes the contents of the letter inside. Oh no! They never received it. It wouldn't be that difficult to cover up all the roots leading to her. Oh, Lilium, you're not she a bad really pony. really get away with it. Lilium, you're not a bad pony. Yeah, I'm the one who's known him longer. I'm the one who's been there no, for him. I'm no, the one who no. should be in the Meredith's side. It oh. should be me. Oh. She took the letter out of the saddlebag oh. with her telekinetic grip, the gears in her mind working to come up with a brilliant plan. Somewhere inside her, she felt this was wrong. That she wasn't this kind of pony. It is well, wrong, but like, that side right. of her can go right to hell. Oh. She's not about to lose to some princess who probably only liked him because of some stupid reason. Maybe Dang. I'm right. Make it so Cadence will never want to speak to Shining Armor again. He'll be so distraught, and then I can swoop in. She froze when she caught a glimpse of something else in Shining Armor's saddlebag. She lifted it up with her magic and gazed upon a picture of her. Shining Armor, Twilight Sparkle, Cadence, Grace, and their other friends. The longer she stared at the picture, the more she realized what she was about to do. No. Yes. She looked down at her hooves. She grew horrified at what she had been thinking of doing. No, I can't do that. Oh, thank God. She had seen such an ugly side of herself. Oh. A side that was so We're good. unlike her in every way. What We're had good. she been thinking? You're a lot of things, Lilium. But one thing you aren't is a bad pony. Bam. <laughs> not a bad back. pony. She gathered not up Shining pony. Armor's belongings in the saddlebag, and Go then she started that putting one hoof in front of the other, which then turned into a light trot, and then a full-speed gallop. 
The little voice in the back of her head told her she was making a big mistake, but she ignored it. I'm not a bad pony. Is she not going to deliver the letter? Love with her. She can't force him to love her with underhanded tricks, and she Wait, can't she? just tear them apart because she wants to be with him. I'm not a bad pony. The chap, chap, chapter, chapter four, chap, chap, chapter four, and more pain, the, the sequel to pain. There was a nice little hill on the academy grounds. It was quiet, peaceful, and had a great view of the horizon. But she wasn't there to watch the beautiful scenery laid out before her. She was there because hardly anyone ever walked by. It was the perfect place to be alone. She never went back to her room that day. Grace was there, wow. and she didn't really want to have to trot back to her friend who gave her so much encouragement and tell her just how badly she screwed up. She Bailed. spent all of yesterday in a depressed daze wandering around and avoiding the ponies in the academy. And now Fair. she wandered up here to stare into the twilight sky. She needed to just let out. What if that's the same while, location? And then she'd the make her way back artwork. to her room wearing a mask of happiness. She sniffled and wiped her snot away. Was it okay to cry now? She hardly yes. ever cried. She needed to put on the strong facade around others. But maybe just a little bit was fine. You just need to let it all out, to let please. It run loose when Lillian? His voice stopped her cold. Shining? Shining? Shining. Casually wiped the tears Shining. that had been forming. What are you doing here? Well, I was looking for you to... Shining. His voice trailed off as he stared intently Shining. into her eyes. Lilium, are, are you okay? What? I'm absolutely Me? not. Yeah, I'm just fine. Never better. I'm one of Equestria's best arcane combat specialists. I've got fans and I rivals. You know, the usual and... Shining suddenly put his hooves on her shoulders and turned her to him. Lilium, you're not fine. He saw right through her in an instant. Where was that magnificent intuition just a little while ago? Damn. Talk to me. I'm your friend. Ugh. You can tell me anything. No, she Bro. really didn't want to tell him this. Bro. But there was no way he was going to let this go. Bro. You really want to know? It's time. It's time. Fine. It's time. She brushed his hooves off her shoulders. She turned her back to him and sighed. It's time. See, there's this stallion that I've always really liked. Playing the friend card. Play I I have I have this friend who has this problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Well, that's great, Lilium. I'm sorry. But he's she needed to choose her next words carefully. Ah, to heck with it. She wasn't a great liar anyways. He's in love with someone else. Yeah. Actually, he'll never love me. At all. I recently had to watch him confess his love to the mayor of his dreams. They look great together and I know they'll have a happy future, but still, it's Shiny, come in with hard the good to advice. tell my heart to stop feeling like this. Shiny, come in with the banger so, advice. I don't really know what to do anymore. <laughs> Shining Armor was silent for a while. He turned Lithium around and brought her into a tight hug. I'm sorry. What was he apologizing for? He probably Had knows. Had he figured out who the stallion in her story was? Probably. I don't know what I can say to fix your broken heart. Any stallion would be lucky to have you as a mare friend, so... It's okay. She wrapped mm, her hooves around him and hugged okay. him back, burying her face into his shoulder. Just, just tight hug, let me stay tight like hug. This for a while. Uh, she cried. She really cried. Uh, Not just let, let out little teardrops, but she was bawling like Philly as she hugged him. She let knew that the moment this hug stopped, then she'd have to give up her love. Oh. The moment she let go, oh. then that would be the end of this chapter. Oh. She wished it could last forever. Oh. Just like she wished that hug they shared when they were fools would last forever. Oh. However, she knew it couldn't. Time had to keep moving forward. Every story needed an end. Uh, she watched as the sun rose, washing her old self away. Tears were still streaming down her face, but now a smile spread across her face. Smile. A sad, sorrowful smile of farewell. Uh, yes. It's like, uh, While it's every like, story uh, needed to end, 
hers was not over. This was just the end of one chapter in the life of the unicorn soldier. No, it's a good way to look at it. as Lilia. It's a good way to look at it. Oh, damn. 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 Alright. So that's getting the clap, man. That's getting the clap. That was spark. Fantastic job. Great job to all the people who, you know, voice acted and everything, did the, did the whole reading part of the reading, but does work. Fantastic job with the writing. A, oh, that was, that was, that was a really good, oh, dude. <laughs> I really like what they did at the end there, with the whole, the whole hug, man, just... Just oh you oh you can feel every single moment in that story. You could feel like everything. And I kinda like I know this is probably a bad comparison, but to me it kinda had that feeling of you you're watching a show, right? You've been keeping along with it for a very, very long time. You love the show, and it ends. You have to say goodbye to it. It's a, a bittersweet farewell. The finale was awesome. You had that last little piece of fun, new content that you will probably ever get of the show. It, it's over, you know? But, you know, it's been a, it's been a great ride. And even though it's over. You still remember all the great, the, the greatness, just the amazingness of having that experience. And you give your proper farewell. I mean, it could be, I mean, heck, MLP Generation 4. Ten years, like, a very long time the show has been, the show was going on for. Its finale was amazing. And, you know, you give it a proper farewell. <laughs> you cry. You bawl. <laughs> I I cry. Trust me. Yeah. Oh, I sobbed pretty much. <laughs> but yeah. I I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to end it, man. It's one of those it's one of those things where it's it's very good to the point where you just don't know how like how to end it you want to keep going and keep talking till you think of something like emotional or insightful or just something that sounds good to send you know to just end it with but you just can't and that's the situation i'm in right now 